NRA School Shield is there to help. What is NRA School Shield all about? It's a coming together of security professionals, whether it's Secret Service agents, SWAT team members, other law enforcement professionals that are trained in the art of security, how to harden targets. Now we sadly have to say that schools are actually targets. The chance of your child becoming a victim in a school shooting is slim to none. But there still is a chance. And as I said, it will happen again. So what are you going to do about it? My response would be you've got to call NRA School Shield. NationalSchoolShield.org. NationalSchoolShield.org. That's the website. If you're a school administrator, go to it. They will come in, do an assessment of where you're going wrong and what you're doing right. They will even go as far as training, whether it's veterans to carry firearms in your school or helping law enforcement or school marshal programs like we have here in Texas. NRA School Shield will help with all of that. It's about ensuring that everyone is safe. What I'm upset about is that we have politicians in this country, specifically from the left, that are playing politics with kids' lives. Just because it's called NRA School Shield, they want to ignore what School Shield is doing. NRA School Shield, to me, tells you that you can count on it and that it's run by an organization that can be trusted. These politicians that play politics with the lives of students out there, it is bad news and it's putting kids in danger every day. Call School Shield, let them come into your school district. Let them tell you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. Your kids will be safer for it. Now, the other issue in all of this is how do we get more armed good people inside our schools? I say it's not just schools. How do we get more armed good people around us all over the place? We're safer because of it. This includes, when we're talking about education, arming faculty members, teachers, and others that work inside the school, providing they are highly trained, providing they go through intensive background checks, and they volunteer for a program like Grady Judd is doing in Polk County that is intensive. Why wouldn't we allow those who want to stand firm in the gap to protect our students, why wouldn't we allow them to do that? So do not believe when the mainstream media tells you that teachers do not want that. It is true that some don't, but it's also true that many do. Listen to this teacher that we spoke to in Illinois. Early last year, when we had the fire department and the police station come into one of our faculty meetings, and instead of them telling us from the past years to lock our doors, turn off the lights, get the kids away from the windows, and to be silent, they told us that, you know, if that was, if there was a lockdown purpose, that was the right thing to do. But unfortunately, with now the fire alarms being pulled, what alarmed me was the police and the fire department was suggesting that us as teachers walk out of our classroom, walk down the hall to check to see to make sure that there was no gunmen in the halls. So for me, that alarmed me because if I wasn't going to be able to protect myself, I was going to be taken out before I could protect um, other students. And that's all she wanted was to protect other students. So now the question comes, are you going to be reactionary? Or are you going to be proactive? Because if you're reactionary, it means something already happened. That's bad news. Be proactive. That's where NRA School Shield comes in. It also is where NRA TV comes in with our School Shield, our Safe Schools investigation. We're going to be looking at schools in 50 states across America to ensure that we do what we can to make sure that our kids are safe when they get off the bus and head in through school doors. Wayne LaPierre had warned about this for a very, very long time. For very long, nobody listened. As we said, the activist media refused to listen, politicians refused to listen. You know who's listening now? Sadly, victims of crimes like this are listening. Six million members of the NRA are listening and their voices are being heard in school districts across this country that they are saying the time is now to do something to protect our children. Let's get it done. Again, nraschoolshield.org.